Hello and welcome to the Pathfinder version 3. This is a major, major upgrade from the previous Pathfinder versions. And uh, for those of you who don't know what a Pathfinder is, I'm just going to quickly go through and, and uh, explain to you what it is and then get into the details of the software itself. What the Pathfinder is, is, let me explain, for example, for if, if I was to just go and select Australia from the drop down and do the restaurants. Um, what the Pathfinder does is it counts the number of map results there are on the first page for the for the chosen keyword. So if, if I use the keyword restaurants like I just did, in this case there are number of the number of packs that are coming out is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven from A to G. So depending on what keyword you put in Google, Google returns different number of packs on on the front page and it's very useful to know how many Google Places results are coming up on the first page or whether they are coming on the first page at all or not and on the basis of that you can tweak your SEO strategy so with that out of the way um, let me explain how you can use the software to do exactly that so I'm currently in Australia so I wouldn't choose that location to, to demonstrate the entire power of the software you can actually see how people for instance in the UK would see their packs coming out if, if, as if you were sitting in the UK so if I was to say restaurant here now, um, you will notice that there is no pack showing up at all. That's because I'm in Australia, so it doesn't know my physical location. But I, what I can do is mention my physical location here into the Google box and set it to that so that the number of packs start to come out. So for London and restaurant, there is a seven pack result in the front page. Um, so now if I, for example, choose the United States um, and go type in keyword restaurant, um, again, it doesn't know where I am, so it asks me for the location. Other than that, if you have a look here, it's not going to show you any packs because it doesn't know where I am. So in this case, I'm going to choose Chicago as, in, as a test case. And make sure that remember this location is always checked when it shows the location in that, in that, uh, in that format. Uh, sometimes it comes there, sometimes it comes in the left corner here. Regardless, just make sure when you get this checkbox, make sure it's checked. And click on search after that. Now you'll notice that it's giving you a 7 pack A to G. So it's quite clear. Um, then if I go here to the Google Business Pack Finder, what I need to do is just in insert my keywords over here. And if I wanted to add any prefixes or suffixes, so how the way that works is if I wanted to add, um, let's say, in a argument say before as a prefix and then do the same uh, as a suffix it will that's how the prefix and suffixes work so I'm not going to bother with those for now just going to use the original keywords that I've put in there and um, I'll add them to the list that I want to analyze and click on get packs what that error is telling me is that uh, I must make sure that the Google Places settings is properly set before I run the get packs for the results to be correct. Otherwise, they will not be correct. So I not, I've already set them up to Chicago, so I'll proceed. And there we go. So for restaurant, there's a seven pack. For restaurant Chicago, there's seven restaurants, there's seven. What you notice over here is that for restaurant, I'm now able to check the packs. Previously, you had to add the location next to the keywords. That is no longer the case. You have to add, you you can use keywords that are neutral, and similarly you can add, for example, if I wanted to put carpenter in there, um, and go packs. It's actually giving a seven packs. So that's that's proof to you that you can actually use uh, you can use neutral keywords. Let's do a check on restaurant two and carpenter in Google itself. So that keyword had no packs, and there you go, they've got no packs. And Carpenter has got a 7 pack. So hopefully that was a good enough demonstration. So the fundamental concept behind this uh, Google Places Pack Finder structure is based on the Google Places Rank Tracker, a software that is due to come out very soon. and that enables you to check ranks for Google Places businesses. So that out of the way, um, hopefully you'll like, enjoy the software and please give me your feedback. Thank you.